Juan Johnson, tight end. Okay. <laughs> yes. Undrafted from Oregon. This is in really athletic tight end. 6'4", 230, 458, 40-yard dash. That's 92nd percentile for tight ends. 78th percentile speed score. Big-time burst score. 66th percentile. 80th percentile agility score. 77th percentile catch radius. He's only 26. And with the Saints needing a little bit more offense with Michael Thomas out, right? Clear. So Lave is drawing a lot more attention on the defense. Jarvis Landry is back, and that frees up the likes of Jawan Johnson. Now, this week is a tough matchup. The, the San Francisco 49ers are 32nd. They give up the fewest tight end fantasy points. But if you look at what Jawan Johnson has done over the last five games, for the last five games, he's finished as a top eight tight end. And he's had 42, 44, and 47 receiving yards over the last three games he's had at least you know seven targets in two games this season so he's seen a few games of higher target share he continues to get red zone work seven red zone targets in 11 games so he's used around the goal line and it's not surprising he's able to convert some of them this five receiving touchdowns so far and he finishes the tight end six so with Goddard out, with Zach Ertz out, Juwan Johnson sliding up the ranks as, as a tight end that you should be picking up if you need a, a fill-in for, for tight end. Okay, and he's a full-time player. Just because Adam Troutman or Taysom Hill are on the field does not mean that Juwan Johnson is not going to get the routes. Right, He hasn't fallen below 14 routes in a game so far this season, and he's played, you know, usually 70, 80% of snaps, full-time player, red zone target, and for team, a team that's desperate for playmakers, Juwan Johnson has, has made some plays this year.